Here we go. Hi and welcome in this new video. Today is part three of our little video series with the, the game we were playing before. Actually the topic is family connections and we made it into a kind of a game where we wrote down words on a piece of paper so that I have several with me now. I didn't have the bag with me so we just decided to make it up. Spur of the and moment. That's right. And Eddie Tom is going to pick one paper where something is written on it and from that sentence, that word actually written on it, we are going to start talking about family connections linked with this topic, the word basically on the paper. Wow. Right? And, and one of them I don't know what it says, that's so that's right. going to be the thing about it. Exactly. It's a bit, I made it more... But it's good uh, because it all deals with real funny. life issues. That's right. Being on the planet journey. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> So are we ready? Oh, absolutely. Let me shake all of that. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so I want you to close your eyes in case you can recognize what is written. All right, let's go. Let's go for it. You can, uh, yeah, with this hand, keep your eyes closed and all you right. pick one. All right, here I go. You choose. Any, uh, mini, money, mo. Let me see. Here we all go. All right, you got it. So you can just open. All right, let's see what we got here on our family topic for the day. Whoa. Work. work. Oh, exciting part. Work, work, that's work. <laughs> the planet journey at work, and this is very oh, important. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Because people call me all the time, what if I got this type of job that's oh. strenuous? <gasps> so many things we could say about that. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. you, big one. you want to dig into this one yes. first? All okay, right. I'll start. Work. So if you know my journey, oh, my no. planet journey that I started, and uh, my, how should I say, challenges with work, you know that at some point, after, my, after I did a pranic initia initiation, I went back to work because I did take a, some time off to do that. Mm -hmm. And when I went back to work, I wasn't able to handle my, how should I say, state of uh, or like food freedom, meaning that I wasn't, I wasn't able to handle having juices and working full time in a closed office, no Whoa. windows, no natural light, only artificial light, and sitting on a chair in front of the computer. What a shock for the from, body. That's right, from nine to seven. Oh my gosh. And doing extra overtime uh, on top of that. I wasn't able to do that because it was that my body was longing for something else. Too much stress. Exactly. So at the beginning I was trying and trying, I was telling myself, okay Mariam, you, you just, you, I didn't see anything else I could do really. Because when you are into this pattern, when you think that you have to go to work, mm -hmm. you have to have a job, and that's what your diplomas and, and your skills are into. I was an assistant in a company. You, you, you don't even think about anything else. You think like this is the only possibility and the only way, right? What? To some, right. At some point, my body was telling me, okay, no, no more, impossible. And I was just kept, I kept being sick. Especially in the morning, I was just like literally vomiting. So you came out of initiation to get healthier, but now you're getting sick. That's right. Oh man, Doesn't this don't look sense. good. I was actually more sick than before I did that uh, initiation into mm -hmm. uh, refining my diet in quality and quantity, right? Right. And it's so, supposed to make you healthy, but you're saying, right. I'm and seeing this across the board with right. everybody and dealing with work. A lot of people, yeah, go through that, feeling actually more sick and less healthy uh -huh. after a, a, such an initiation. Right. They don't know how to handle it, handle it back much. to the environment. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's why we say it's it's not just about food, it's about every aspect of life. And work is a major one, because guess what? We all need money for a house, for things, for clothes, for whatever right. you, know, you want to have. So that, that's a major one, we all know that. A so major one on At some journey. point, it has to come like a, as a second priority after health, that will come up. That will, and that will have, you will have to think about a way to make it aligned to your state of health. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So I learned the hard way because I, at some point, overnight, I had to quit work because I was really sick, like I couldn't even stand up. Wow. And I had to find a way to, you know, create a new reality and a new solution. And uh -huh. I just followed, I trusted myself, I followed my intuition, started to create events in a field area that I was uh, looking up to grow into, right? Health right. and wellness, the pranic journey. So I, I started to connect with uh, pranic people, with people doing yoga, qigong, meditation, all of that. Right. And that led me to grow, okay? And from <laughs> there, I did my, li my own little journey, grow through that, 
and life was helping me also to get more skilled into things that I wasn't skilled in, like um, communication. I was I wasn't really good at communication, marketing, mm -hmm. um, all those things, creating an event, organization. So a better your skills or something else. You had exactly. to find an outlet mm -hmm. that would at least complement your new lifestyle. That's right. Completely. To help you go along yes. that journey. Yes. That's what it boils down to. Absolutely. But put, yeah, really putting help. Making health your priority, uh -huh. you kind of guarantee you're always going to find a way. As long as you're healthy, life will always help you. Because this is a health message. Yeah. Now, because that was reversed before you coming out of something that should make you healthy, mm. good, give you more freedom, but it puts you in more bondage. Oh, yeah. And that was due to lack of understanding until you had to really mm. tweak it out. That's a right. lot of people run into this. Now, let's get into this now. Yeah. Work, our work, our job, our livelihood in life. And we got, across the board, all of us is dealing with this thing where we do need to work to a degree. Mm -hmm. It ain't got nothing to do with money. You need to do something, build a house, yes. take care of people. Even if you got to a community where you put all your skills together, there's a quality that you must bring to the whole. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you can't bring it to the whole if you're sick. Of course. And you can't bring it to the whole if you're pushing yourself too fast, mm -hmm. trying to do something that's good, but it's doing a reverse effect that's right and not only is it unfair for you it's an unfair to the people who's depending on you Absolutely. see we don't look at that not only do you were no good at work you know what people come into that mm -hmm. you're making the job harder for everybody else because they expect you mm -hmm. to do your part to keep up with the pie and i don't care what it is that's right yeah now dealing with these jobs and dealing with the panic journey of course when you first come into it you're still going through a detoxification process mm -hmm. this is why now as I teach the message, it totally changed because everybody got to get back out here and get back into their old lifestyle pattern and slowly tweak it to fit a new pattern. Mm -hmm. See, even if a, you a stay-at-home mom, that's work. Taking care of kids, they run and they got all these wants, and you up there want to be food free, and mm -hmm. you did this initiation, just think it's going to happen like mm -hmm. that. That is not the ball game. If people is running to an inverse effect. That's right, absolutely. That's why when we say you eat your way to breatharianism and lightening up your diet, this has to be more realistic so that you can get used to these new energies. See what you need to tweak out in your life mm -hmm. so that it will get better and better on your journey. Yeah. And then you're giving your body time to get used to that new level of health. That's right. See, even though we say eating fruits is healthy, they ain't healthy in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You go on fruits too fast. Oh, yeah, that won't. Your mind didn't catch up because keep in mind that your physical body is your mind. You are still craving the old frequency. So therefore, you're not help, happy. You're not healthy because as we teach this message, we're teaching holistic health. Now look at that, that word, holistic. And it's going into optimal health. Now they, don't, they ain't saying it though, but we're teaching an immortal message, not dying, regenerating. But the medical establishment is telling you that. You are to see optimal health. What is that? That is choosing the best situation for yourself at all times on a holistic level, dealing with your physical body, your emotional, your mental, and your social, which is also your work. Mm -hmm. Now listen at this in the Hebrew terminology. Tefillah means to pray, but prayer ain't the traditional that we're thinking about, begging for something. It means to think. You're thinking your, your, your way through this because on this pranic journey, you do need some cognitive thinking of a realization to bring things down to earth to make a new plan for yourself to really think about going into optimal health, putting yourself in the best situation, the best scenario so you can grow just like a plant in the garden. Does this make sense? Absolutely. This is all living on prana. So don't focus on the not eating and eating part. What too many people are doing, and I got to say it, you're failing. You're losing a battle on something you shouldn't be losing. Mm -hmm. The universe is user-friendly. These energies is user-friendly. Just start to coordinate with them. Not like your new title. What is that title called? Oh, yes. A Holistic Interpreter. A Holistic Interpreter. That is saying that dealing with holistics, dealing with the whole, dealing with the all, you are an, a translator mm -hmm. from one language into another. To another yeah. See, people lost the translation of how to communicate with nature. That, exactly, yeah. So you need a translator or an interpreter 
to tell you what that language is saying. Mm -hmm. So when we teach you about breath work, how to fast, clothes to wear where your pores can breathe. Mm -hmm. This is all holistic. Sleeping in a space where there's circulation. Mm -hmm. This is a lifestyle, but you need an interpreter to tell you the benefits or why you need to do that to communicate with nature. Mm -hmm. So right. that you can lead, what? Receive more prana. See, we live a totality of a holistic lifestyle. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just making this video go, this is more than just making a video. We was out to get a walk to be in nature again. Yeah. This just come with the lifestyle. It's, we could have just sat there on the couch, mm -hmm. ears stagnant, thinking you're doing good. And pretty soon you turn on the TV. Yeah, right. Then you get bored. Then you're going to start getting food. Yeah. Then you're in this cycle. Pattern, then you're yeah. going to crave more. Then you're going to eat more. And then you're going to think the system is a liar. People who are food free is a liar. But no, you got to put in the work. What type of work? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what this is talking about, this topic. That's the great work. Yeah. The great work is you. That's right. See, you might even have to trade jobs or give up a job into another one, like you were saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One that will better compliment you. Now, we do need people who's going to have strenuous jobs. Mm -hmm. So your main focus, like one man told me, there's a lot of stress and tension. Mm -hmm. How do we come on a pranic journey? Change your lunch at lunchtime. Instead of eating like lunchtime, go work out. Mm -hmm. Go meditate. That's right. Go yeah. bring I had a strenuous job once upon a time. Yeah, sure. But I still uh, managed to become pranic because I took advantage of every opportunity. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's right, yeah. To rechange myself within the job and then at, over a period of time, the universe set up a situation where I was able to leave that job to brought more health to me or more energy or less stress and it complimented me. Mm -hmm. Now, but my first thing on this journey, and I'm gonna be clear, when I came into the journey, I had to make up a choice in my mind. If this job that I'm working cannot pay for the things I need, I don't need to go over that to overstress my body. Absolutely. Very key, what you say. This yeah. is about giving up stress. That's right. A, a little as possible. Yeah. See, the body can handle stress, mm. but it's too much stress that closes off the energy, mm. closes off for of you being fed. Yeah. You really got to understand this. Is this making sense? Mm -hmm. Oh Absolutely. my gosh. Absolutely. And there are several le levels as well, as you say. Okay, we could be at, at a job at some point. And being okay with that at one level of, let's, let's say, our, of our diet refinement, right. then we feel like we need to, to, to shift from another one. Like for me, I was mm -hmm. working for years on the computer, on online marketing, or creating events online, but then I realized I couldn't do that no more. Those past months, there right. was a major transition. My body needed something else. My body need to, needed more physical connection and, and, and changing environment and all of that. And you can't suppress that because that's, it's like, it's like a call, okay, in a call and you just have to follow basically what we could call a life life mission and expanding, you know. Right. And, and you just follow that. But it's not like, as you say, it's not like we got to find that one passion that is going to be for life forever. <laughs> but it, it changes. It's an evolution. It's constant. Right. Constant, sorry, yeah. Because we're constantly going into one life to another mm, to another. That's right. I talked about it in one video about our past lives. Your mm. past lives is in this that's life. Right. Look how many different transitions you made. Uh, so far, yeah. you were somebody's son, somebody's daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you had your own family. You was a wife, a husband. Uh, you, your person at the workplace. We're constantly bringing on these new characters. You understand? But going back into this work, uh, in the Hebrew terminology, avod is work, but avodah is love. Mm -hmm. So your work and your love is the same thing. Mm -hmm. So what you're working is and shows your love for nature. Mm -hmm. So now. This even changes the concept. Even if you got a job that's harming nature, and this is what's happening across the board, you know, people are in there for the money and stuff, you even have to look at that because it's still an energy, a frequency you're uh, catering to. For instance, in the food industry, for instance, there's a billion people who are selling animals mm -hmm. just for their livelihood. I don't mean they're eating them, mm -hmm. but they're doing it to provide for their families. So it takes time for this new transition to come upon us, not only single, you know, as a single person uh -huh. working on yourself, even collectively as a group. So we got to work together again. And a pranic journey, everybody's living on prana, but it's how you harmonize and refine these energies and take your time. Mm -hmm. So you won't fall into that. I'm going to become pranic in 21 days. Go back to your old job and you're going to run into failure.
I'm going to straight up say it now. We got to stop shooting around the bush. That, like we said, the days of instant gratification is over, and we got to understand the work and the effort we got to put in because that's what we do anyway on everything we want to learn. You want to learn how to uh, run a marathon? You got to go put in the. Today I did a mile. Next week I did two miles. You understand? Music the same way. And if we, well, you want to become good at it, perfect practice make perfect. Let meditation be your foundation, and nobody likes it in the beginning. Yes, we all give it up, so we got to tell the truth now. You have to work to become better to refine these energies and go off into perfection. This is what it's all about, and it will become easier and easier. Here I go again. No eating and drinking. Do you see me sitting here? Do you see me falling out? But this was years of refining. Years of working, years. years of learning myself, years of getting information, and years again to learn how to nourish myself from the other sources. This is about self-realization till you know it's yourself, your confidence get picked up, so I'm no longer afraid of me. Who is me? This is me. This is my imagination. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is awesome. That's right. And the reason why we have to take time in that process is because if you think about it, like, for example, for me, uh, food refinement or this pranic initiation right. led me to question the work aspect. So just questioning the work aspect and uh, uh, starting all over again from scratch, okay, like... That's what courageous. But yeah, and it, but it does take... It, it creates stress over the body because it's a, a big transition. It's something new. You, you know, you're opening yourself to a new universe, a new world. Right. So that you can't... Do focus on that and focus on the food freedom aspect at the same time because that's two major two changes majors. to your body. C can you imagine what you uh, put onto your body when you just focus on two major changes wow. at the same time? That your body, I mean, it, it requires love, it requires time to change and to oh, transform absolutely. into a line. So it's about self-love, really. We can't do, to put on so much stress <laughs> to our body just because we want to do things fast. That's not okay. And you had a good yeah. video where you talked about um, okay, living on Prana, you really got to focus on yourself, you understand? But how can you do that if we're living in this society? I love your video where you talked about you got financial problems on your mind. Oh, yeah. That's the energy that's leading you totally the other way, so it's hard to focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's good when you brought that well, up. Well, yeah, because a part of your mind will always be focused on that, whether it's re fo you know, conscious or less conscious. That, that would be always there. Just like right. if you have children, the part of your money is always constantly focused on the children. That's how it is, okay? Right. Same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you got those energies coming apart, so therefore that's why we talk about this holistic, it's a holistic journey. Everything has to be holistic. So you can bring it back how it's supposed to be so you won't have all that on your mind. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Still working. Oh, this fly is blocking the camera. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why did this go dark? So, yeah, so you won't have that other aspect on your mind. Yeah. So you do great videos even talking about the financial freedom aspect. Oh, yeah. And now you got a lot more time to focus on yourself, right. which is focusing on prana. Yeah, totally so don't think that money don't have nothing to do with prana. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. It's a currency, a medium of exchange, but it's how you use energy. it. It's how you spend it, and it's an energy. Mm -hmm. And it's if, and if it's pulling you from your center, you know you're doing wrong because you'll feel it in your body. Right. Is this making sense? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get, we gotta hit these issues so we can rechange the structure of how the spiritual path. That's, we don't even need that word. The energetic path supposed to be a work of a sound and light. Mm -hmm. Yes. And about work, you also wanna, you know, choose to pick up a, a work or a field of, of uh, creativity, a career that is aligned to your level of wisdom, or to actually the level of wisdom you wanna reach if you feel like you're not there yet because mm -hmm. the truth is for example if you are if you refine your diet and you go for vegan for health reason health whatever planet animals it's not just for us that we are on this path right it's also for the planet and the other living beings right i believe right. it's a collective 
grows in, in consciousness. It's not just individual. Right. So for this reason, you may not want to work in a field that is um, damaging to uh, the <laughs> planet, to animals. And for example, I give you like a real example. At right. some point, when I was like broke, I thought I was I would do almost anything, like almost not not really anything, but <laughs> and I had a family member who was working into the field of um, leather industry. And I, I thought, well, okay, she, she needed help. So I thought, oh, that's a good opportunity for me to um, uh, generate money and, and help that family member. But guess what? That wasn't aligned to me being a vegan and to me wow. growing in that field of food refinement and compassion for other living beings. Right. But I, I didn't care. I was still so eager to generate that money and, and so scared to fearful really to not be able to do it in a different way that I said yes to that and that I was basically calling leather companies to ask for prices and deliveries but I thought that wasn't working it right. was leading me to even more uh, a debt and even more troubles because what happened because was, it's not in alignment exactly. with the universe so you don't want to just pick up any kind of work that gonna that is having a consequence or your on your health absolutely your happiness and peace but we're really talking about the whole again. Yeah. And nature is not going to honor you because oh, yeah. it sees the whole picture. That's right. And we're trying to be slick saying I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. But you got to see when you're on this path, it has a lot of power in it. Mm -hmm. You have to trust the power of prana to bring you along. And when it brings you into these situations, it will what? Give you those things you need. But you really got to let go. Little by little, not all at once. Mm -hmm. And again, going back to this work, like we say, being an at-home mom. Uh, there's a lot of women call me, not picking on women, got little children that they're raising, and that's a job in itself. Why do you want to be totally food free? You got all these wants, we got to stop it. You got to understand what living on prana is. It's a health message. The, only, the focus should be on your mind is that the whole family is healthy, that the plate is healthy, and that they're not overeating and eating too much. As the kids get older, don't force that on the children. Then you could go off and work more into yourself and go to these levels of total food freedom. Yeah, it's a collective uh, work again. It's not just individual. We right. really have to think compassionate. She wasn't thinking about her husband. Do we want to start eating alone? At, no. no. People being selfish for other reasons, you got to ask yourself, why do you want to be totally food free and such and such and such and such? You got to grow into this and work with yourself step by step because life is a continual thing. And one thing that is the truth, change always comes. That's right. And faster than we think, actually. If we <laughs> like, really, I wouldn't imagine my life today is completely different from like five years ago. Oh, absolutely. It's like, totally, it's heaven. We in <laughs> India running around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it really comes. But it's the least expected way. I could, I could say, yeah. And we're glad to share this with you of these experiences, of uh, being on this journey. And like it takes a lot of courage for people to do come out and tell these different things. Like we said, I could easily play the game and said, I went to a forest one day and an angel came and said, ding with his magic wand. And I never ate nothing again. No, that did not happen. Right. Step by step. And my so-called failures was not failures. You listen to some of my interviews with the chocolate. I woke up with the chocolate all over me. I had to work with my mind. <laughs> we got these past habits in us. We uh, got these cravings from detoxification uh, coming within us. This is real, folks. So that's why you want to love yourself, take your time, and just keep it seeking the energy of health. And it will come meet you more than what you realize. Your body's like a, a rubber band. It takes a lot of energy to be unhealthy. Whoa, it's easier to be healthy. You Actually, really yeah. got to think about it. Just like it's easier not to eat than it is to eat. Yeah. Once you put that self-realization together, it will click. That's right. And you're off to the races. Why well, well, I'm go eat something now? It's an evening time. All it's going to do is put me to sleep. Right now, I'm full of energy, and we're running around all over the place. All right. Now, this is awesome. You got anything to add? No. Nope. Oh, That's all right. so we hope we helped you. Stay on the path. Keep up the good work. And for those of you who never heard about food freedom, I guarantee this is not going to be the last time you is not going to hear it in this day of age. We're going to keep on moving on, and we're on our Breatharian campaign right now. Absolutely. Yeah. We're traveling around educating people about being on this journey, what it is and what it's not, from myth to reality. Have a nice day. We love you. Bye. Talk to you soon.